Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Monkey Wrench. I'm Kelly, the monkey with the umbrella. Well, it's Sunday. Normally we do Solar Sunday videos, but not today. We have Hurricane Milton coming straight for us. And if you saw the thumbnail, you would see that when I mean coming straight for us, me this time, it's going to mow this town down. We haven't had a storm hit in this direction in 123 years, I think since 1901. They're claiming this thing could be as high as a Category 5, uh, 180 mile an hour winds. And I'm approximately 50 miles from the coast of St. Petersburg, Clearwater. So we are going to get a direct hit. We're going to lose power without doubt. We're going to have lots of trees come down. The ground has been very saturated for the last couple of months from all the rain and storms. And I have to button this place up. So instead of a Solar Sunday video this week, I thought you guys might want to know what the kinds of things that I need to do to prepare for a hurricane. Now, Hurricane Helene hurt a lot of people, and I pray for those people to get their lives back for those that lost their lives, for those that lost their homes. But I didn't do a whole lot of preparation here for that storm. Because if you live in Florida, you learn to watch the weather, you learn how weather works, and you know whether you're gonna have an issue or not in the place that you live. So this time, it's a whole lot bigger of a deal for us. We may be weeks without power. It's one of the reasons why I deal with solar panels and power stations. We have a generator, a propane generator. And uh, the biggest thing for us is gonna be, we, we're not gonna deal with storm surge. We're, gonna, we're not gonna have flooding that I know of. The area that I'm in is kinda high and all we have around here are lakes. And I'm not that close to any lakes. There may be two, three miles away. So flooding is not going to be an issue. Tornadoes are going to be a huge issue with this storm. And we're right in the path of tornadoes and this possibility of a Category 5 hurricane. Now most likely it's going to be a, a Cat 3 when it hits. And by the time it leaves on the other side of Florida, crosses my home, it's still going to be a Cat 1 by the time it hits the Atlantic Ocean. So, I'm standing out here with an umbrella trying to keep the camera dry, not myself, because I have a ton of work to do today. The first thing I need to do is take those solar panels and put them inside the van where they'll be more protected. Now, I moved my office over here because there's no trees above it, and there's no trees close enough that if they were to come down, they could land on it and crush it. That's important. The van, there's a possibility that tree could come down and crush the van, but that's just a chance we have to take. Uh, I don't think that big tree that's been there for a couple hundred years is gonna come down, but you never know. But even then, it's only gonna be brushed by the top of some of those. So it's got a pretty good chance of surviving. The shed, I'm not so sure. It is a complete two by four shed reinforced hope the fishies are okay I've got to get all those propane tanks down and get them to the floor so that if this thing does crack or push over that they don't fall 15 feet to the ground and blow up so I've got to deal with that I got to straighten this whole thing up stand that motor up move the stuff off the bottom get my other bike inside over here, I've got to take that white outboard motor, get it down so that it doesn't flip over that table. Most of these machines that you see out here are broken and need to be repaired and will be repaired on the channel, including those weed eaters and all along the fence. I've got to take that silver table down. I've got to lay the barbecue grill down so it doesn't get blown over and trashed. Bring the propane in off of that. 
those machines are pretty much going to sit where they are. I'm going to move my Gravely over next to my office behind it between the office and the fence. We've got to take all these plastic chairs and tables and all this stuff, the ladder to the pool, all the nets and all that, and they have to go inside the pool so they don't blow away. And that's if the pool doesn't break. And if the pool breaks, the last thing I'm worried about is a couple of uh, nets and a ladder and a couple of chairs at that point. But that's the best thing to do if you've got a pool to stick anything lightweight in it so it doesn't blow away. And uh, out in the front, I've already taken care of all that stuff. I've already got the stuff for the windows. I don't think I'll be boarding up the windows, though everything is ready for that. I can do that in the rain. But I don't think we're going to be necessary. We are in a block home, so we've got a lot of protection from the wind. And uh, basically, I just have to get everything up that's going to blow around, get everything in the shed, and get it all cleaned up. So if you don't see videos from me for the next week or two, uh, normal videos, it's because we really got our asses handed to us from this storm. I'm expecting to be a week or two without power. Um, who knows if a tornado is going to tear up the house, anything like that. I'm not really worried about the house blowing over in the high winds, 100 to 120 mile an hour winds, but tornadoes are a bitch. And Thankfully, there's not too many trees around the house. There's nothing from the house in this direction that could possibly reach. No trees that could possibly reach the house. The only ones we have are that one, which is why I moved my office, because that thing could have came down and crushed it. And then we have that one there. But even if that one falls over to the right towards the house, it'll crush the pool, but it shouldn't do any damage to the house but there's our power line right under it. So you just never know. I will be on here later to attempt to do a, a video depending on how bad the storm gets. We're already getting rain and we're still 48 hours away from landfall. So, I don't know. If you don't hear from me in a couple of weeks, it's because we've been going through some crap. And uh, just pray for us, guys. It's our turn. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. My YouTube channel is not going anywhere, even if we have to go through hell for a while. Hit the like button. Please, it'll really help get this video out. Hit the subscribe button. It's somewhere between my chin and my balls. And hopefully I'll see you soon.